Useless craft kit. Actually, don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna recycle it. Don't worry. I got this. I might be cruel, but not to the environment. Before we begin, I want to send super positive vibes towards Simone. If you don't know Simone, she's currently going for a brain surgery, so make sure that you go over. I'll put her link in the description box below as well as in the iCard section. Let her know that the nerdy family is thinking about her. She's a fellow dork, but one of them smart dorks, not like me. So naturally, let her know that the YouTube family is right behind her. With that said, I don't want to be salty crafter today, but if, if she does come out, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I don't, I don't mean to. I actually do want to have fun today, and I figured I would do this Keshi Gomu Japanese Eraser Kit. That was a mouthful. I picked up this set in Japan, and I really wanted to give it a try. And they give us everything we need to create either all of set A or all of set B. I have no idea what to expect. All I know is that there's a microwave, so I have a feeling we're going to be needing a microwave. This week's shoutouts go to Linda Strandquist, Orlando312, and Kunabi. I usually don't give three shoutouts, but I am a generous nerdy crafter. If you want a shoutout in my Friday video, don't forget to hashtag Notification Squad in the current injection below within the first 45 minutes of a video's release, either on the Wednesday or Friday video, or hashtag Nerdy Crafter on Instagram with one of your creations. Time for the usual struggle of opening a box. Not salty crafter. Don't don't get into this. This is this is fun. This is fun. We're having fun. All right. So let's see what we get in here. We get an instructional booklet. So many tiny cute erasers. What is that? Let's see. So we get little templates for our little critters. So we can either do set A or set B. I think I have my heart set on B. And then I have no idea what these are. I don't know why I sniffed it. <laughs> I don't know why. Why did I sniff it? I have no idea what these are. And then we have the machine that we're supposed to use it in that kind of looks like a waffle maker. Oh, and there's a little pinch thing. So before we start panicking on the instructions, I figured I would use Google Translate. And we have a picture. This is not sponsored. Not sponsored whatsoever. Google, if you want to sponsor me, that's totally cool. All we have to do is align the text of the picture. Take a picture. And then it highlights all the words it recognizes in Japanese. The translation is going to be pretty poopy, but we'll get we'll get a general idea. Open the lid of the main unit. Set the fasteners so that they become tilted. So you get an idea that this translation can help us put it together. By the way, now I know what these are. These are fillers, so in order for us to not to have a white background, we just put these on and then we pop them off at the end. So we don't get too many because they're reusable. All right, so we need to tilt this part like that. Put our little picture, and now we just gotta build it. You know what, we need to separate the other things. How difficult is that? Can I just break them? Oh, yes. We need 60 of these. So I'm gonna cut all these and, and get back to you because that's boring stuff. And I was shaking because I was so scared that I would ruin it. But now the next steps here are to put this thing. Oh, I got goosebumps. I got so look, 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 look at my goosebumps. I got so, I got so scared that that thing was going to drop right on top, and I'd be like, "Well, oh, there it goes half an hour." If we had made a small one, we would have needed the smaller block over here to kind of fill the gaps. If we're making a bigger one, we just need this one here. So we kind of have to put it right on top. I, I translated all that, by the way. You see, I'm pretty good at Japanese. Like, oh, whoa, 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 
Wow. And then we're supposed to remove paper. Ta-da. Now I'm scared. Now I'm genuinely scared. I don't want to ruin all my progress. Now we have to put a half teaspoon right on top, spread it, and then from what I understood again is another half teaspoon and spread it again and then close it up with the clamps, put it in the microwave for about 80 seconds and then let it give it ample time to cool down. We really emphasize on letting it cool down. So my guess is that if we take it out before it cools down, we could probably ruin it. There you go. There we go. I'm supposed to be crafting here. Why am I so petrified? Okay, so I'm gonna put this, spread that stuff. It is the journey that counts. Now the next step is to close my waffle maker. All right, so let's put it into microwave for 80 seconds. I'm pretty sure it's still going to be wet-ish, but at least this time... <laughs> Why is it so... There you go. Okay. I feel a little more secure now. I'm still scared, but... Okay, these are supposed to come off. That's, that's an okay thing. I'm so panicking right now, but I think... I think I'm supposed to let it cool down longer, but... Yeah, it's still kind of warm. It's still kind of warm, but these things come off. So I'm going to put it to cool down just a little longer after I remove this. <laughs> this is so cute! I'm good! We have our own little Tigger eraser, but we're not going to erase with it until it's fully cooled down so that we don't mess it up. And while it's cooling down, I'm going to make Dumbo. Actually, you know what? I want the transparent ones. Let's do Donald! I used to be able to do the voice. Can I still do it? <laughs> That, that's, that's as good as it gets. even wobbly that's that's pretty cool now I feel like making a whole army of these that is super cute er, me, good. oh I feel like I should have made a third one but this is this is pretty time-consuming time to test does it erase feels so bad I don't want to erase with these because they're just so cute you know what I'll just erase with the back part but it is pretty sturdy for those of you wondering look look it's 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 sturdy that's that's the strongest piece of what is this called again eraser <laughs> pretty sturdy so you don't have to worry about going going vigorously on, on the erasers I mean it does a pretty good job and it actually doesn't make that much dust it's really good quality stuff I need to buy me some refills all right so I'm not here to review this kit but I will give you some information generally you can make about six erasers I think this kit cost me $30 Canadian so you're just gonna have to translate that into American this kit will give you give or take about four hours of playability so even though it's not much playability for the amount of money it's still a pretty cool kit I did have fun I'm not going to rank it this is not salty crafter because if I wanted to be salty crafter I would still give this a good review also you should know that you are paying for the licensed characters so kind of like Donald and Tigger, but if you want refills, I think the refills are about $5. If you enjoyed this video and you want me to do another pixel type character, I can definitely make my own. So let me know which characters you want to see in a kind of tsum tsum pattern in the comment section below. Hey you, do you identify as a geek? Do you happen to like anime stuff? Do you have an obsession of owning things that you may or may not need? 
I know all of these in one place. Not sponsored, please do not think that this is sponsored, nor is it affiliated. I present to you Aki Bento. So I am showing you what we got in the box that is themed Academy. Here are just a couple of them. A My Hero Academia Deku figurine. Assassination Classroom stickers. And a t-shirt. I'm not quite sure what anime it's from, but I'm gonna have to research it. Next month's theme is centered around cyber, with things like Hatsune Miku and Psychopaths. If you're interested, I'll leave the link in the description box below. If you want to watch a crafting video, make sure you click up here. If you want to watch a salty review because it was pretty hard to hold myself today, make sure you check it out down there. Especially this week's salty review was extra salty. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until then, I will see you in the next video.